Superman is one of the most famous and powerful superheroes in the DC Universe, and truth be told, the last thing that he needs is more superpowers. Even so, I have been wondering what Lantern Corps, if he was in one, that Superman should be in. I have already done similar videos for Batman and the Bat Family. Links to these videos are in this video's description. But first let me state what the Lantern Corps are. They are a set of societies who wear power rings that give them superpowers, such as energy projection and flight, along with other abilities that vary slightly from core to core. The rings are powered by emotions. Each of the different cores has a different colour, and each different colour is a different emotion. Green is will, yellow is fear, blue is hope, indigo is compassion, violet is love, orange is avarice, and red is rage. Together, these all form the emotional spectrum. There are two other cores which aren't technically part of this. They are the White Lantern Core of Life and the Black Lantern Core of Death. And even though they are not technically part of the emotional spectrum, they will still be considered as a valid Lantern Core option for this video. And with that out of the way, let's get started. Avarice. Avarice for Superman just makes no sense. No sense at all. After all, his arch nemesis is Lex Luthor, who is the very definition of avarice and greed. This doesn't even bear talking about, because it just doesn't make any sense at all. And I can't honestly see anyone thinking this could possibly be the right lantern core for Superman in any way. So let's move on. Compassion. Compassion basically means putting yourself in someone else's shoes and understanding how they feel and then sympathizing with them. And although Superman does care about people, and he cares about them more than anything, he doesn't really have true compassion, because he's not human. He's an alien with godlike power who can't be hurt and doesn't feel pain. So how could he possibly relate to a normal person? The normal human problems are bad health and lack of money. Pretty much all problems in life stem from these two things. And Superman has perfect health and always will, and he can crush coal into diamonds. Coal. Perfect. I think this will cover everything. So he has no real worries for money, so essentially this clears up all of life's problems. There is one thing that Superman can truly relate to, loneliness and the pain of losing those you care about. As the last survivor of his planet, he is an expert in this, though he never actually met any of his family, except for his cousin Supergirl, who of course is still alive. So really that only leaves his feeling of being the only one like him in the world. But since he hangs out with the Justice League and other superheroes with godlike power, including his cousin Supergirl, who is also Kryptonian, that doesn't really make him the only one like him, and so he's not really alone. Admittedly, in the New 52 universe, his adopted parents are dead, and I'm sure he will lose others in the future of his comic run. So he does understand a little about loss, but it still isn't the overriding part of his personality, and not a big enough part of who he is to push him into the Lantern Corps of Compassion. It can't be completely discounted, of course, but it's clearly not the Lantern Corps for him. Death. To be a contender for a black ring, a superhero must first be dead. And Superman has died before. <laughs> at one time falling at the hands of Doomsday, a story which is already adapted into the film Superman Doomsday, and is actually being readapted again into a two part film series, one being released in 2018, another in 2019. For more information on this, check out the links in this video's description. So because of this, Superman could be a member of the Black Lantern Corps when he was dead, but he ultimately returned from the dead and couldn't wear the ring. That being said, even if he was eligible to join the Corps, it wouldn't really make sense for Superman, as he never kills, except in a few alternate universes. But in the normal universe's canon, he never kills, which means this couldn't possibly be his Lantern Corps. But speaking of Superman committing murder, in the Injustice universe he commits many murders, and this eventually leads to him joining the Yellow Lantern Corps of Fear. The Lantern Corps of Fear's members are any being who has been shown to instill great fear in others. And since Superman is the most powerful man on Earth, he has always had those who are afraid of him. But when he crosses the line and becomes a killer, with one of these murders being televised around the world, then literally the entire planet becomes afraid of him. And with that level of fear behind him, when he wields the Yellow Ring, he becomes even more unstoppable and powerful than ever, even killing a Guardian of the Universe and the most powerful Green Lantern Corps member, Mogo, the Living Planet. He also kills a lot of others with his ring, and it does seem to be a good fit for this version of Superman, and it does show that the Yellow Lantern Corps is definitely a core that Superman could potentially join. But the only reason he can join it is because of all the bad choices that he makes in the Injustice Universe. 
and in the normal universe where his wife and child haven't died and he hasn't become a murderer, the idea of him being a Yellow Lantern is completely absurd. And I can't see him ever really wanting to join the Lantern Corps of Fear, as it isn't the type of man that he wants to be. In fact, even in the Injustice universe, he actually gives up the ring because Wonder Woman convinces him that he's sending the wrong message to the world. So even when Superman has joined the Yellow Lantern Corps, he ultimately rejects it, and so this can't be the right Lantern Corps for Superman. Though I must say that Superman's Yellow Lantern Corps uniform looks amazing, and is probably my favourite alternate version of Superman's costume. Rage Next we have the Red Ring of Rage. Now, Superman has gone angry before, after all, who on this planet hasn't? But he never really loses it, not completely. Yes, he has lost his temper, but always in small doses. He never really loses it completely and utterly, seeing Red and losing control of himself. And this does make sense. After all, when you lose your temper completely, you lose control of yourself. Now, for most of us, that doesn't really matter that much, as we normally just yell and swear a lot, and maybe punch a wall. But if Superman loses his temper, he could easily kill people, and if he punched a wall in anger, he'd bring the whole house down. And because of this, Superman has excellent self-control, because he has to. With great power comes great repressed feelings. Because if he doesn't keep control of them, then a lot of people could die. And if you've ever actually wanted to see what happens when Superman truly loses it, then read the comic Irredeemable. It's not technically Superman, but it's a guy with Superman's powers who loses it, and it's a really good read as you watch him destroy the world. But anyway, Superman joining the Red Lantern Corps makes absolutely no sense. He'd never be able to embrace his anger fully and let it control him, and that's what being a Red Lantern is all about. Willpower Superman has wielded the Green Lantern of Will in the past, in several different stories, but my personal favourite is Superman Last Son of Earth, which is set in an alternate universe where Superman is born on Earth and sent to Krypton to save his life, as Earth is facing its end. So basically a reverse of Superman's story, with him being raised on Krypton instead of Earth. And in this story, while Superman is exploring on Krypton, a Green Lantern ring finds its way onto his finger, and he uses its power to travel to his home planet of Earth. And though the Earth is pretty much a post-apocalyptic nightmare, the planet itself isn't actually destroyed like Krypton was. And while there, Superman fights Lex Luthor, who is pretty much living as a dictator. Superman liberates the people under him, and discovers that he is from Earth, and even meets his own mother. He also discovers that because he was raised on Krypton, which has much harsher gravity and living conditions, his body has developed super strength and super density, meaning that when he's on Earth, he is super strong and bulletproof. And after discovering all this, he decides that he wants to stay on Earth. The problem is that Earth isn't in the Green Lantern sector that he's supposed to protect. For those who don't know, the head of the Green Lantern Corps, the Guardians of the Universe, divided up the universe into several thousand sectors, and dedicated Green Lanterns a sector to watch over. But although they can go into other sectors, they are supposed to primarily protect their own sector. And they tell Superman that if he wants to stay as a member of the Green Lantern Corps, then he'll have to leave Earth and go back to his assigned sector, back where Krypton is. He says no to this, and decides to leave the Lantern Corps and stay on Earth. Which is why he couldn't be a Green Lantern. Yes, he has the necessary willpower, as do most superheroes, but Superman isn't willing to do as he's told, again like most superheroes. And unlike Earth's actual Green Lanterns that we know in the normal DC continuity, he doesn't need the ring to have superpowers and fly into space. So he has no real reason to do as he's told, unless he wants to. And Superman will always defend those he thinks need defending, and will not listen to others if they tell him not to do so, because he cares too much. And he could never follow the Guardian's rules, and so it's for this reason that Superman could never be in the Green Lantern Corps. Love Superman has a great deal of love in his heart. After all, everything that he does as a superhero is motivated by love of his adopted home and a sense to use his powers to keep it safe. But his love never overcomes his sense of duty, responsibility and justice. He cares greatly, but he always does the right thing. And as weird as it is to say, love isn't about doing the right thing. In fact, some of the most horrific things that humans have done over the years are done out of love. But Superman wouldn't act purely out of love. He always looks at the big picture and does what is right for everyone, not just an individual. Now, there are a lot of Superman stories with alternate dimensions, the future stories and Elseworld stories, and in those he doesn't always do what is right all of the time. But in the main canon of Superman, he always follows through and sacrifices everything for others. Whereas love, in many ways, is actually quite selfish, and is about putting the needs of the one above the needs of the many. So this doesn't really seem like Superman's Lantern Corps. Life Superman is very much alive, and I could see the White Lantern Corps of Life as a potential contender for the corps he should join. Especially since the White Lantern has all the powers of the other Lanterns, except for the Black Lantern Corps. 
And when it comes to being overpowered with superpowers, well, Superman is pretty much the poster child for being overpowered. And I can't think of a real reason why he couldn't be a White Lantern. Except for the fact that there is one other Lantern core that makes more sense for him to be in. Hope. Ultimately, Superman is the embodiment of hope. He is the very first superhero of DC, a shining beacon of power that is used for the right reasons, and shows what can be accomplished if you believe in the greater good and put aside your own selfish desires. He inspires all those around him to be great, and he is held up as the perfect example of what a superhero should be. Generous, caring, kind and powerful. But as his parents tell him, he should never use that power in anger, and he doesn't. He doesn't give in to his own petty emotions and drives. He doesn't use his power for personal gain, and instead uses it to defend those who can't defend themselves, and to protect people from those stronger than them who would want to do them harm. And it is for that, and so many other reasons, that Superman's lantern ring core can only really be hope. After all, Superhero's main task throughout history has been to be held up as an example for others to look up to, and to inspire them to be better. So what else could the world's greatest superhero be, if not the very embodiment of hope? Of course, this is only my own personal opinion, and yours may differ. So what Lantern Corps do you think Superman belongs in? The Lantern Corps of Hope, or another Lantern Corps altogether? Be sure to let us know in the comments, and I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those of you who made this video possible by donating to Needlemass Productions' page on Patreon. Patreon is a crowdfunding site that is helping us to bring you more videos each week and to raise funds for adapting comic book stories into short animated films. If you're interested in donating or just want to find out more, a link is in this video's description. And as always, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment.